Ah, uh, Dr. Brown. Thank you so much You're for welcome. joining You're us welcome. today. And who do we have with us? That's my best friend. Better not say best friend. <laughs> my closest friend, Gilly. Uh, Hi, Gilly. Gilly's Hi. a three-year-old black lab who is just a He's delightful a companion. He's a good boy. His only fault is he loves people too much, I think. <laughs> so, Dr. Brown, we are going to talk about something that is very interesting and very important. Mini Vet School. Give us the history on that. <laughs> the Mini Vet School started about 20 years ago. Um, we had to take a two-year hiatus because of COVID, but over the years we've had hundreds of lectures at University of Buffalo first, and now it's at Damon College. And Western New York veterinarians from the Niagara Frontier Vet Society volunteer their time and give lectures with the feeling of being in a veterinary college. So the general public can attend these lectures, and we have a wide range of subjects. And again, it's, it's meant to show the general public the width and breadth and depth of what we can do as veterinarians, but also give them much more education on caring for their companion animals like Gilly. Yeah, and, and can you please explain what a companion animal is? <laughs> a companion animal is one that provides you companionship. Even horses now are considered companion animals because not many horses work for a living anymore. So the definition of companion animal can be anything from a gerbil to a bird to a turtle, anything that provides you companionship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, have you, what have you gotten over the years from the, the, the folks like myself that come and sit in these classes? What type of questions have you gotten that you think um, would enlighten some of our viewers <laughs> to, many, to learn about? Many times it's a specific question about an animal that they own mm -hmm. and they're trying to understand. In a sense, they're even trying to speak for the pet. Yeah, um, yeah. Si since they can't speak for themselves, <laughs> they tolerate pain much more than you would expect. They tolerate pain quietly. They don't know what's normal anymore, so perhaps someone asks a question about their dog who's urinating too much and losing weight. Yeah. So we get pretty specific questions, but we also have specific topics that we cover. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do one on applied anatomy, which was my favorite course in vet school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Dr. West from the emergency clinic is going to do PET 911, talking about pet emergencies and what constitutes an emergency. Oh, that's we, a good one. Yeah, it's that's a good, a good one. Yes, because uh, some things are urgent, but not an emergency. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be able to distinguish those. We have an equine veterinarian coming in to talk about equine medicine. Dr. Van E from the Sheridan Animal Hospital is coming on orthopedic surgery for animals. One of, the, one of the challenges is there's so much that's becoming possible for pets now yeah. that it's, it's sometimes so expensive that people can't afford it anymore. Yeah, yeah. So everything that's available for you and I at Buffalo General Hospital is actually pretty much available for pets wow. too. But it's a challenge for us to be able to, to weave that uh, path between what's reasonable and yeah. what's affordable. And, so. and anyone in the community can come and take part in this, right? Yes. Um, you can sign up through the directly call in Damon College. Mm -hmm. we'll, mm -hmm. have a, we'll have a screen that'll give all the contact information. It's $60 for all 10 lectures. It starts October 6th with Dr. West and I and goes every Thursday night for five consecutive nights. Thursdays. Yeah, that is amazing. And you get so much for only 60 bucks. It's fantastic. There are also um, benefits for seniors and students oh. for a decreased oh. cost for those two. That is amazing. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Brown. Thank you, Gilly, for being <laughs> such a you. good boy. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? There's so much more to come. Make sure to check out uh, nfveterinariansociety.org for so much more information. This is so, so important, especially for those of us that have pets.